Hi there, uh, I just finished uh, installing the XBMC um, media uh, for the Raspberry Pi. It's, uh, right here you can see it's Raz BMC or whatever. Um, I had a quite a, I'm new to Linux somewhat and this description wasn't really working in, in less uh, you're actually running an, a, a Linux operating system, um, which I have some laptops that are running those, but I really wanted to use my main desktop um, with Windows 7 um, to, to install all this stuff because it has my SD card reader and stuff on it. So this wasn't of use to me, but if you are running a, a, a Linux operating system, then you can just punch in uh, this as a sudo code right here. Um, and then it, it's a lot easier if you're an advanced user of Linux. But I'm just making this video for like uh, beginners and whatnot. So um, you, what you're going to need is uh, a VM workstation, uh, uh, also known as a virtual machine. Um, anyway, you can get the, uh, the image file for the XBMC uh, right here under this link from uh, from raspbmc.com um, and then just click on here download blah 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 the gzipped image and what I ran into a problem is I couldn't figure out I never even seen the dot gz uh, before and come to find out that that's just a Linux version of like Windows zip file or something um, everybody's used to that runs Windows Anyway, once you download it, over here on this, you, you uh, transfer it through your network folder, through your workstation. I'm running Ubuntu 11.10 in my workstation. And uh, so you'll get this package right here. And what you do is it's real easy to unzip once you're inside uh, the Linux operating system. Um, you just right click on it, open with Archive Manager, and it'll unzip automatically. And then boom, you get your your image test dot img, which is your image for the XBMC. And then you just take this guy, move it to your network folder, and then pull it back onto your network folder on your Windows system. And then you can use um, you can use this guy right here, the Win32 disk imager um, is how you write the file so you would like you would browse right here and then you'd be like oh Dory and then oh look here's the image test image so and then you just double click on this guy it pops up here you select your SD card and then you click write and then it'll pop up and be like oh you know are you sure you want to write it'll erase all that and you say yes and blah blah and then after that, you uh, unplug your, your disk, your uh, SD disk from your Windows computer, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and for the first boot, you want to make sure that you have the Raspberry Pi connected to uh, an Ethernet cord with Internet access, because what the image test is for the XBMC is just an installer um, packet. So once you power up your Raspberry Pi, um, then you just want to uh, make sure it has internet access so that it can update and finish the install, basically. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes or so for it to finish the install, but once it does that, it'll automatically start up uh, the X XBMC uh, program, and then from then on, you're good to go. And anytime you power on your uh, Raspberry Pi with that SD card in there, It'll just auto start the XBMC, which is a media, it's like Windows Media Folder, or not folder, sorry, Windows Media Player. Um, you can stream music, videos, pictures, anything you want through your Raspberry Pi, uh, and there's no inc uh, SSH encoding needed. Um, it, it's actually really easy to use after you do this part of it, but uh, hope this helps. Um, anyway, if you have any more questions, you can. Uh, Email at uh, t 
techcrawlers.com at gmail.com um, and I can uh, I'll respond as, as quickly as I can to help you help you guys out so anyways thanks